All right, you guys, we messed up. We messed up pretty, pretty big with this shower pan. Let me tell you what happened. So we got everything all good, right? We got the shower pan built. We got it sloped down so it would drain. Uh, slight problem though. The first time we ordered this epoxy stuff, we did not order near enough. So we kind of shot ourselves in the foot. For some reason, we thought that the smaller, much, much smaller version of this and this would get us the entire thing, like three or four coats. Not even close, guys. It got us one coat over just all the wood to saturate the wood. That's the first coat you do, is you just paint it all over the wood to saturate it. And that's really what waterproofs your wood all the way. Um, then the next layer we did was this fiberglass. That's what you kind of see this weird stuff all over the sides, guys. That is the fiberglass layer. Now you do two layers of that. Uh, we got into the first layer and then what happened is we ran out of epoxy. So let me show you kind of what we got going on here, guys. So as you can see, these weird lines. So what happened underneath is because we ran out of epoxy, we did not have enough epoxy to get all the way down through these fibers, guys, because you have to completely saturate these little fibers or they won't stick to the wood. Uh, so what happened is we were getting these little air bubbles underneath all of our uh, fiberglass pan here and that's not good because in the long run guys those air bubbles are gonna get weaker and weaker if someone steps on one or bumps one enough times it's gonna crack the epoxy layer over time now could we probably have gotten away with it yes but would it have looked good probably not and would it have functioned as well probably not so I got a plan guys I don't know if this is gonna work let me know down in the comments below if you think uh, we should just restart or if this is a good idea no idea. I have not found another solution on the internet for fixing this mistake. So what I got here is this is our epoxy thickener for our resin here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and mix up a little batch uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to put another layer of fiberglass over this. Two layers, guys. That's what you're supposed to do anyways. So what I'm going to do is mix up a thickened layer. And as you saw, that gap I showed you earlier and like these little holes and whatnot, you can kind of see down in here. I'm going to use that thickened epoxy to kind of level all this out, get everything nice and level again, guys. That way we lay this next layer of fiberglass on top, it's going to be on a smooth, flat surface, and hopefully we should be able to get that next layer of fiberglass perfectly flat and even. We should be all good from there, guys. So I'm going to go ahead, give this a try now, and uh, report back in a little bit. Okay, you guys. So I got that first skim coat on like I was talking about using the thickener there. And take a look at it. Now, before all of you trolls start running to the comment section to tell me that that's not even even, that doesn't look even, that's even more bumpy and horrible looking than before. Guys, I know the point of this coat that I put on, as you can see here, was just to get it on really, really thick, guys. Because you know what? It's going to be a lot easier for me just to take a rough, like, 60 or 80 grit sand paper on my orbital sander there and just rip that all down smooth. Um, instead of going back and doing a few separate coats, guys, it's a lot easier just to smooth this out this way, guys. Instead of going back and doing like two or three coats just to get it all smooth, just slop it on there heavier, guys. We got plenty of epoxy to spare, hopefully. Uh, so slap it on there a bit more heavy, and that way I can just take that orbital sander tomorrow once it's all cured, rip it all down smooth, get this next layer of fiberglass up, and get rocking. I'm finally getting back to this again after we had filled all those gaps and whatnot and this already looks way way better than before So I think I figured out a better method to get this fiberglass to bend in the corners Now real quick the reason I had these paint cans in there guys was just to hold all of these corners down When I was going around cutting all the corners to overlap them uh, Because this stuff is so light and will just pull and tear really easily Anyway, so I got an old paintbrush here guys and as you see this is two separate pieces right here or not two separate pieces but they're just the same piece that I cut down the corner and then just simply overlapped and folded them in. Now all I'm gonna do guys is just take my old paintbrush here and really guys use a paintbrush or something you don't care about because after this hardens, this is going to turn into a rock and I'm telling you right now, you're not going to be able to clean this out no matter what you think you're gonna be able to do. So as you see this area over here guys, you know that your fiberglass is starting to get uh, ready or you're getting enough coverage on because it will turn translucent. So any spot like right here, you know, where you can still see a little bit of white or there's a little bit of white still, that means you need to get more fiberglass on there or the fiberglass simply just has not absorbed it all yet. It has to absorb all of that or it's just not going to adhere to your epoxy below. So guys, I'm going to keep getting this on there. Hopefully we don't run out of epoxy this time, but 
things are already looking better so far, guys. So I'm going to catch you up after I get this part all finished. All right, Hustle Nation. So this shower pan has been weeks in the making now, guys, like two or maybe even almost three weeks now. Uh, mostly just waiting on supplies like the epoxy, waiting on the paint. And, um, of course, we messed up the first time, didn't order enough epoxy, so we had to wait another, like, week. Uh, anyways, though, guys, yes. So here's the pan now, guys. Uh, what we got in here, this is just water in here. I've been letting it sit for about 30 or so, 45 minutes, trying to see if the water level drops or anything to make sure we're all waterproof and tight. And, uh, yeah, guys, nothing's coming out of the bottom. Doesn't look like the wood's getting saturated. Uh, the water level has not even dipped a tiny bit yet. Uh, no air bubbles coming up, you know, from where like water would be going into and air would be coming out. So I think we're all good. We're all nice and watertight. So I'm not concerned about this leaking at all. Now what we got going on, guys, is we're going to switch to this. This is bright side polyurethane paint. Um, this is just white color, obviously. So once we get that all painted on, it's going to look just like a normal fiberglass pan. Now, in hindsight, I probably could have, you know, got away with not using only, you know, 2x4s on the side part. I could have used something a bit you know, thinner width, um, but it is what it is, I've already built it now, I've already bought all the wood and cut it up, so no point in changing that now. But this stuff right here is especially made for like epoxy and fiberglass builds, uh, tells you right here, you know, what you need to do for epoxy stuff, the prep you gotta do, so I've done what you said I need to do, I gotta all sand it down to at least 220 grit, fit the whole thing with 220, well obviously I started a little bit lower, around like 80, just to do a quick rip to get everything down low, then 120, then 180, now 220 was the last one I did. So I've also already got it cleaned out, guys. You're supposed to clean these really well before you paint them. So I just used a little bit of Dawn dish soap, it said you could use just soap. Uh, just kind of wash it down with a little sponge, got all the dust out of there, and I filled it up. So guys, I'm going to go ahead, get this emptied out, dried out, and then we're going to start painting this and hopefully start wrapping up the shower thing. All right, you guys, not sure how well you can hear or see me because I'm backlit right now, but... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just pour this straight into the pan and just start rolling it around. Uh, mostly because I don't have any roller pans and I'm too lazy to go to the store because this is only the first coat so it's not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pour this all in here. Good amount. And uh, yeah, I guess we're just going to roll it around. Wow. And just like that, I don't know, what was that, like two, three minutes maybe? That was super easy to get on. I don't know why I didn't think it was going to want to bond to the epoxy as well as it did. But um, it really just went right on. Um, I'll definitely show you guys this in a few seconds here. All the little fuzzies in the paint. Yeah, that went on really smooth. Um, no complaints with how it went on. I should have definitely used a different brush. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick this up. I don't know. It might not pick it up that well. But there you go. You can kind of see all these little fuzzy things in the paint, guys, from the roller. So next time, I'm going to use a lot nicer, newer quality roller. But no worries, though. I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to dry. Uh, dry time before you can sand is eight hours, guys. Eight hours. Uh, that is so, so long. But no big deal. We'll wait the eight hours, guys. We're going to get back to doing some other things in the trailer. So let's get back to it. All right, you guys, welcome back. It's been a while here. As you see, this is our shower cavity. Now, if you remember a few episodes ago, if you don't remember, go back, watch that after this episode. But we ripped out that fiberglass shower because when we first tested the water pipes in here, we noticed we had a big water pool coming out from underneath the tub and all around. So the only way to get the tub out, unfortunately, was to cut it out. There might have been a better way to do it, but we didn't know what else to do, guys. It's like our first two days in, so we just ripped it out like that. And we got everything exposed, and it was way easier to do it that way, guys. That way we ended up running this new PEX plumbing here. And this stuff all happened a few episodes ago. So now that we got all this emptied out, right, we had to build a new shower. Now the problem is, our drain right here is on the front left. Now finding a shower pan or a tub pan with a front left drain is actually surprisingly hard. Or they're ridiculously expensive, like $500 
just for an ugly old like tub we could not find one anywhere guys so what we're doing is we're building our own as you already seen we've been building that custom shower pan out of fiberglass wood and epoxy the pan is completely ready now we just have to drill the hole but before we put the pan in and get that secured down to the floor and to the walls we got to do something about these walls now after searching all over youtube there's a lot of things people do some people just fiberglass epoxy these whole walls and everything seal them up that way that's definitely one way to do it uh, however what we are going to try is we're going to actually vinyl wrap these walls with a vinyl sheet flooring uh, so all we're going to do guys is, as you see we built this back wall here now the reason we built this wall is because we just needed another brace wall so we didn't have to deal with this weird curve at the back of the trailer and trying to do some weird vinyl wrap back there so all we did is we built this wall right here now what we're going to do guys is we're going to lay new sheets over the top of these screw them down and then lay our vinyl right on top of those so we have smooth surfaces because these sheets have all these kind of staples in it and holes and whatnot so it's gonna be way easier for us just to lay some thin 1 8 plywood sheets over the top of this and then we'll have a nice smooth surface ready to, for us to glue our vinyl right onto those and then once we get that on guys it's just a matter of letting that dry for about a day then we'll come back in put the pan in get our plumbing hooked up and the, the shower should be all ready to go so let's go out to the garage and we'll show you those sheets and the vinyl sheets as well all right guys we're here in the garage and as you can see these are our boards so as you saw like that false wall we built back there that's going to be like this board right here is going to get snapped on that one we're going to screw this board down and screw this middle board down now here is the vinyl sheet guys as you see it's not that thick but this stuff is completely waterproof now the reason that we are not going to glue it down out here that's definitely one way to do it probably sometimes even the better way to do it depending on your situation right here is your vinyl glue guys all you do with this stuff is you can either use a trowel or like a big thick roller brush roll it onto the wall or trowel it onto the wall we'll probably just roll it since we'll be doing it vertical instead of troweling it so guys the reason we're going to be actually installing this vinyl inside the shower it is really simple actually because trying to get these big panels into that wall it's a really really tight space and there's gonna be a lot of rubbing and we don't want to accidentally shift these off or tear through the vinyl on the top trying to get them in so it's actually a lot better for us to be able to just get it inside screw these down then we can also have all of our screw holes concealed right because if we glue this down beforehand and then move it in we're gonna have to screw it down obviously then we're gonna have screw holes through here that we gotta try and put waterproof trim over and seal so it ends up being a lot more practical just for us to actually put it all on in there so that way we only have to seal our corners and then the very edges we don't have to worry about exposed screw holes so guys we're gonna go ahead go get these all screwed down and then uh, start gluing it down and once we glue it down guys we're gonna use this roller right here and we're just gonna roll the vinyl just like that to help activate that glue because it's kind of pressure activated glue so you gotta really get it down in there good so yeah let's go ahead let's get these boards screwed down and uh, start gluing All right, guys, we've got our glue on. As you can see, we had a little issue here. We had to take off this wall and this wall because when we had measured, this was pinned behind that board and this actually ran behind the other board. So it was really quick to do. We just unscrewed that, we'll screw that back in. Caden right now is applying the pressure roller. You're gonna need one of these. If you don't wanna scar up your vinyl, we don't wanna scar up our vinyl, so we just got the proper tool for it. You can usually rent them at Home Depot for like 15 bucks for a day, or you can buy them for like 20 bucks. But this glue is pressure activated, so he's activating that right now by putting a bunch of pressure onto that vinyl. You saw us use that trowel. The back of the adhesive will tell you what trowel depth you should use. We just got those little plastic ones. They costed a dollar to do since we're in a tight space. We didn't wanna get the big old trowel or Runa are really nice ones that we use for mortar. So Kana's gonna go ahead and keep doing that. Once we've got that done, then we'll go ahead and move on to the sidewalls and finally get that in. But guys, that is already looking so good.
Alright you guys, so what we're doing right now is we're finally getting our shower valve in. We got this nice black one here with this nice black shower head. Now the way this system right here works is simple, right? Just screws on like that. That's how most RV camper trailer showers are just because it's more convenient. And you can also screw these on to like your faucet handles or your kitchen handles, whatever. So we're about to drill this, these uh, holes right here so we can slide this through. And this one's really easy. You just slide it through and then on the other side, you just use these little clips right here. You screw them down all the way tight and that's kind of how these work in these uh, RV camper trailer showers. No screws, nothing like that. Just these locking nut washers behind. So we're going to go ahead and drill these holes and then once we get it all in, of course, we're going to silicone around all of the edges. That's what makes it watertight. So let's get to it. We're finally at the part where we're finally wrapping up this bathroom, this shower, guys. Let me tell you what. Hindsight's 2020. There are about a million different ways we could have done this that probably would have been faster. But hey, it was a learning experience. This way worked. It took a few extra weeks, uh, quite a few extra weeks, but it ended up working out. Now, as you remember, we have this super ugly face right here that we got to cover up. And uh, we didn't know how. We had to leave this open so we could use these little L brackets down here to screw down the tub. And be able to get underneath and screw down the tub as well. So now how we are covering this up, we thought of a bunch of different ways. Uh, one of the best ways we just figured is, hey, let's just use the same vinyl planks that we use for the floor to cover this up. So check how easy this is. Look at that, guys. That literally is just going to go right there. We're obviously going to have a little corner piece, uh, inside corner piece trim on the bottom to cover it. And up here over the top, guys, we're going to use just a simple outside corner piece like this to cover up both the seams and obviously we'll caulk around this top edge guys super super easy and it'll match the floor perfectly so finally that problem is solved and as soon as we get this in we're just gonna brad nail it into this shove tower right here and that uh, will be all wrapped up with this whole shower easy peasy guys let's get to it so the big reveal is finally here check it out you guys look how good this looks it looks so nice. The epoxy tub down here. We got the drain in right down here. Obviously, you know, it's a little dirty right now. Mind the mess. We have to clean it out still and vacuum it, whatever. But there it is, you guys. As you see, this is how we covered it up. Now, again, we're going to have that little piece of corner trim right there, down there. Just like how these are right here. So that's going to cover that gap right there. So that's going to look super, super nice. Then to cover these pieces right here, we also have some black metal trim we just haven't put up yet. We got to do some finishing touches on that. And the best part of all of this is, well, it actually works. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, it actually works. So we got all the plumbing hooked up all inside of here, guys. We got our hot and cold lines all hooked up and it works so well. Actually, the flow is pretty, pretty good. And you know, when the hot water tank is full, you can take probably, you know, four or five minute shower in here. Obviously not something super long, just because of the nature of hot water tanks and RVs, especially these older ones that don't have the instant heaters. It's, you know, you can't take a super long shower. Anyway, so there it is, you guys. Everything is all sealed up. It looks so good. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode here. It's been a good one, guys. This bathroom, this shower cavity right here, was weeks, months in the making. It took us so long just because as we were researching how to waterproof the walls, or you know, what kind of faucets to use, what kind of water lines to use, the actual tub drain, the plumbing hookups, that all took so long, guys. There was so much stuff that had to go into this. It took months, but it's finally, finally done. So that about wraps up all, everything here in the bathroom. The only thing you gotta do now is paint these back walls right here, paint the little toilet access box, put the toilet back in, and uh, we are all good to go. So make sure to tune in next week, guys. We're going to have another good trailer video of showing the outside of the trailer. That's right. We finally painted the outside, and it looks so good. So I'll catch you on the next one.